This is Monroe, Louisiana. It's a small city in the state's north, made semi-famous for neighboring the hometown of the Duck Dynasty family. And it's here that part of a broader strategy to thwart the Biden administration's policies is unfolding. When Republican attorneys generals teamed up, multiple states teamed up to challenge the Biden administration's moratorium on oil and gas drilling on federal lands, they filed their lawsuit in the Lake Charles division. There, they found Terry Doty, a district court judge appointed by President Trump. Judge Doty works mostly in Monroe, but by chance was assigned the oil and gas case in Lake Charles. They got a favorable ruling from him. He blocked that policy nationwide. And so after that, they said, OK, now we're going to go to him specifically. And so they filed their next two cases, uh, which were challenging COVID-19 vaccine mandates in the Monroe division. This is called judge shopping. The term may seem at odds with the impartial notion we have of our legal system, but it's not rare. It's a more targeted relative of an age-old legal strategy called forum shopping which is used by both political parties to stymie the opposing administration's policies. To understand how this all works, we turn to William Hubbard, an expert in civil procedure. Forum shopping describes the activity of plaintiffs choosing strategically which court to file in in order to gain an advantage in their legal claims. So, when attorneys general from multiple states team up to challenge the president's policies, how do they choose which court will give them the best chance of winning? First, it's worth reviewing how federal courts are structured. A lawsuit typically starts in a district court, which can be split into several divisions. The decision can be appealed to the corresponding circuit court and finally escalated to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court gets lots of appeals in, you know, over the year, and they only take a very small percentage of cases. So really what's important for these states that are trying to stop Biden administration policies is you want to file it in the district court that's going to get you to the appeals court that's going to rule in your favor. And for Republicans, that's the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Sound familiar? Both parties forum shop. Republicans use this strategy to challenge the Obama administration's policies. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals saying, whoa, putting a freeze essentially on those executive actions he tried to impose on immigration and Democrats even more so during the Trump administration. Because you cannot win if you're us a case in the Ninth Circuit. That's forum shopping. But judge shopping is even more targeted, and it almost ensures a desired result. Judge shopping refers to the idea that even more precisely than forum shopping, a plaintiff might want to file a lawsuit in a way that ensures that they get a particular judge, not just a particular courthouse, a particular location, and a particular group of judges in that courthouse, but a particular judge. Think of forum shopping as pulling one name out of a hat with 10 names in it, and judge shopping as pulling one name out of a hat with one or two names in it. Back to the courts, there are nearly 700 federal judges split among 94 federal district courts. So how exactly does targeting a particular judge even work? When you file a case in most courthouses, there's some random or approximately random process that chooses which judge you get. And in some of the more rural divisions, there's only one or two judges that get the majority of the cases. So if you file in that division, you're guaranteed to get that judge. Republican attorneys general did not initially seek out Judge Doty. But once they found him and got the desired result, they kept filing in his division. And it worked. Judge Doty issued injunctions blocking two of President Biden's COVID vaccine mandates. Doty says he's conservative, but that doesn't mean he's pushing a political agenda. I don't want it to look political, but, you know, it comes down to it. I mean, I just, I, I've got to follow what I think is the law. Despite his intentions, Republican attorneys general have filed 20% of their multi-state litigations in the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Louisiana. Doty has heard more of these challenges than any other judge in the district, and more than any judge in the entire country. Judge shopping may be a smart legal strategy for plaintiffs, but critics have said it, along with its less targeted relative forum shopping, works against the public interest. Forum shopping really highlights something that makes us uncomfortable, which is that the outcome of a case might depend on which courthouse the case was filed in, 
which judge happened to be the judge that decided that case. These are all factors that can influence the outcome of a case, but might call into question the appearance of, of objectivity in the resolution of, of legal disputes. This is the way the system was created. It allows for this type of forum shopping and that unfortunately, it makes the judiciary look very political. It makes the judges look political. It makes their decisions look political. Um, but there's nothing really we can do about it unless we change the system itself. Meanwhile, Monroe County and Judge Doty will likely continue to see multi-state cases challenging the Biden administration. In the immortal words of one of Monroe's famed neighbors, That's not cheating, that's winning. 